Live from the studio, it's Jarful Tonight. Hey, so I watched Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse. It's good. It's got color. It's got effect. You know, the stuff you put on an image like garnish. You got your blur, your sharpen, and the protagonist today, chromatic aberration. You can see it here in the trailer and also here. Look at that subtle off-white coloring. The tasteful thickness of it. Oh my god. So what is it? Quick history lesson. 476 AD. Rome has fallen. 1816. Cameras are invented. Something something, different wavelengths of light. Something something, lens distortion, bada bing, bada boom. Colors are areas of contrast. What is contrast? Difference. It's just difference. Okay, but what is color? Why is it in my eyes? Color is complicated and I never learned to read. I, I don't know. This looks like alchemy. Any Quaternion can be... Quaternion. I think I need to ask an actual wizard. If you are genuine, ask the universe to send you a teacher and just wait. But keep in mind you will have to pay. Then I should probably ask the universe for money first. This video is sponsored by Parsley. The effect of food. But did you know you can cook with it? Just throw it in anything. Soups? Stir fries? Who cares? What's the worst that could happen? Space. The final frontier. Color space. What the fuck? It's color in space. I'm not gonna explain. You explain it. Different color spaces, different channels. Images are made of these channels. Let's use this Caravaggio because of the high contrast. He may have been inspired by a technology of his time, the camera obscura. Time is a fat circle, or whatever True Detective says. This is your garden variety color space, RGB. Red channel, green channel, blue channel. Offset any of the channels a bit and you get classic chromatic aberration. Here's the green channel moved, so you see green and its complement magenta at areas of contrast. Here's the red channel, and here's blue. Look at these nice paintings by Aaron Hazel. He has a website, by the way. He puts color at areas of contrast, but not with chromatic aberration, he does it with paint. It's closer to another effect, drop shadow. A drop shadow is a copy of the silhouette in a different color. Chromatic aberration pulls apart the whole image. If we want aberration, are we stuck with red, green, and blue? What if we converted color space to split the different channels? Let's try XYZ. I think these channels are chosen for math reasons, and there will be no math today. Here's some shifting, X, Y, Z. Printer space, CMYB, that's four channels to offset. Ink, paint, pencils darken as they mix, so printer colors are chosen to be the bright ones. That's right, the colors are not the same brightness at max saturation. Weird, wonder why. Here's the cyan channel shifted, magenta, yellow, black. I'm using Krita to change color space, it's free. Just go to image properties, pick a new space, make copies of the image, right click layer properties, and change the active channels for each copy. C-Lab, the space tries to look good. If you change image color space, you may notice some banding, especially if you do it multiple times. It looks like another classic effect, posterization. This happens because the gamut, which is the range of colors, is different between color spaces, and sometimes the whole image doesn't make the journey. Sad. L to the bottom right, A, B. This space is used for compression, I'm told. Y, C, B, and C, R. I'm just gonna talk over this time lapse. I'm using Krita's wet brush engine for this. It's a free extension. I'm gonna try and make something a little bit eerie looking and use chromatic aberration in two different color spaces in the same image. Right now I'm just putting in the foreground. We got a house, some trees. I'm doing form shadows, but not cast shadows, which reminds me of early 2000 CG. I'm putting red under the clouds like it's sunset, even though it's clearly daytime, and the ground will be completely flat and empty to add to the eeriness. Okay, so I'm separating the foreground and doing regular chromatic aberration in RGB, and then saving that to a PNG. Then I am converting the color space to C-Lab and doing aberration on the background. The L channel is kind of heavy. I'm going to leave it alone. I'll rotate the A channel, move the B channel up. You can really see it on the horizon and the edge of the clouds at the left because that's where the contrast is. Then I re-import the foreground and that's it. Um, 
follow me on Instagram. Shout out. Shout out to myself. If you just want to mess around with this, you can go to jarful.com slash chromatic, pick any of the browser supported color spaces and slide around. Most of them will look the exact same because they have the same channels. I showed you all the unique spaces I found and most of them are just not very good for this. I think lab is fine, but what a scam. Where's the orange pink seafoam op space? Can we just make our own space? Oh wow, did you look at the time? Please like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.